20. <laughs> it's I we... just go play Minecraft and give up. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> it's because we have no life, bro. What do you expect? Clearly. What do you expect this to be? Bitches ain't doing re nothing but res respect me, bro. sticking your thumbs respect in your butthole me. all day. Respect me, bro. I respect nobody. You gotta respect me. Why are you fiddly farting with all your fucking buttons? Don't you talk about my buttons. I can hear you like click 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 click. That's just because I'm so good. You're too good. You already started the game. Too good. In your too mind. Too good. So, so what is the goal of this recording? What are we doing? Are we just we, playing games? We talking yeah, about what's a little up? bit half and half. Like as a, half and half. We're recording, so just letting you know. I don't know what the fuck you use half and half for. I don't know why people buy that shit. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't put half and half on anything. <laughs> fuck! Got him. You coming with me, motherfucker? Actually, you're gonna die. Give me that. So I don't know. For me, okay. So obviously. I'm, 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 what is, I, I want to say I don't know anything about Gears, 100%. So, starting off with that, yeah, I, I played, what is it, Gears 1 and 3, right? Is that the ones that we played? 1 and 3, we played 1 through 3, I don't know about you. <laughs> ah, fuck! I played 1 and 3. <laughs> I mean, technically 1 through 4 if you count, uh, Baird's story. I mean, do you really count Baird? I don't. See, it's one of those things where it's like it does, but it doesn't because it's it's one of those they do the goddamn prequel thing that everybody does, but everybody hates. Not only that, they shoehorned it, so it's it's basically it's 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 literally just horde with story mode, or it's story mode that is pl that is built around the horde mode, and it's the only game that does that. But it's also the first game that was done by the um, horde mode. Black Tusk, formerly known as Black Tusk, which is now so what are they known Coalition. For? Well, the, to my knowledge, nothing. This is their first shot, and they've not done bad so far, other than you know Baird's story. They've not. But like done I said, that. at the same time, they had a criteria they had to fill, and it didn't really go with the franchise. But it was like, this is what Microsoft wants, so we got to do it anyway. Damn, that kind of. I mean, do you think that, like, as what is it, as a future graphics designer, do you think that would have like? I don't know who's doing graphics design because that's certainly not me. But what? Well, okay, wait, what, what, what? Okay, so okay. <laughs> Shut you down. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, as a future what student? Um, game design. Okay, as a future game designer, correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you think that will designer, animator, coder, okay. programmer? All right, yada, motherfucker. Yada. I don't need to know about your fucking ad no, like put it in my hair. your animaniac. Twitch TV shit. slash. <laughs> <laughs> Pissing me off. Right now. <laughs> but okay, so with being a game designer, at least having somewhat of a background, obviously, I know you're not like fully into it, but I mean, you obviously had some other, co you know, you've done computer shit and you understand certain graphics things, right? Yeah, I guess to an extent. Okay, right, so it, it's it's pretty much you wearing scrubs and me thinking you're a doctor, but you just you're in scrubs, right? Yeah, I, I found him in the garbage <laughs> and just walked in. <laughs> But, okay, so, knowing that, okay, so, when you just say, okay, with that big studio kind of controlling what you're going to do, do you think that kind of stifles your creation, or you're just kind of like, okay, now I have to make a game strictly based off of how this is? Well, seeing it, it's, 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 it's oh, god damn it, it's very, well, I'm dead. It's very much a wishy-washy thing, especially coming from Microsoft, because it's like, you've got, you've, you've got the means, you've got the money to do pretty much whatever you want, however... That is only as long as you fit the criteria Microsoft has set for this particular game. In the sense, they probably went, you know, this is the next game, Gears game, the franchise, make something new, make something fresh, it's got to feel like Gears, but you know, it's 1080p, it's Xbox One, you've got all this capability, yada yada, and then, you know, we want it to meet this form factor, you know, per quality, visually, audio, Game, oh. design, etc., etc. Fuck. But so it's 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 very much in a way. It's all new. They're they're basically they're trying to prove themselves to the fans because you know now that I think about it, I'm not sure. Um, judgment, I believe that yeah, that's what it was. Judgment was um, 
was uh, what is formerly known as the Coalition now. I think that might have actually been Epic still. I'd have to double check that. Yeah. But it's that that was a break away from the traditional. It wasn't received well. They registered that. They acknowledged that. They're trying to fix it. And you know, as far as what I can see from the beta, they're doing a very good job of it because it's it very much feels like Gears still. It never it, went away yeah. from it, other than the story. But that was also the last game. Whereas this is supposed to be a break away from it entirely. Or so they said. It wasn't supposed to be on Sarah. It wasn't supposed to be Marcus and his crew. And to an extent, it's not, but it is still Grubs. You're playing as what seems to be the children of everybody, or at least Marcus. Oh, fuck. Yeah. See, for and me, what I'm thinking, it's like, okay, there's a Degrassi, right? And then there's, like, Degrassi Next Generation, which was a pretty good show compared to Degrassi, the first one. I feel like... <laughs> when you say Degrassi, I think fucking... Yeah, you think of the new... Degrassi. Yeah, you think of the new one, right? Or no, you think of... Ty- I don't... Oh, wait, never mind. Think- I'm not thinking Mike Tyson. I'm thinking Neil Degrassi. Fucking, yeah, What did he do? Across the universe or whatever. Yeah. Sp- space science, motherfucker. <laughs> Universes and galaxies, suns and shit. <laughs> All them bitches. Planets. Stars. Motherfucker looking at stars on the shitter. <laughs> but yeah, okay, no, for me, okay, so in that, in my context, obviously that's not a really good context, but I, I, think, I think it's crazy, I think it's cool though, you know, the fact that it's still like, it's like, hey, here's like, you're playing in memory of those people, right? And in kind uh, of a sense. Are, 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 you, are you talking about memory of the original characters or of yeah, kind Epic of. Games as a company? A little, I want to say character-wise, company-wise. I, like I said, I like playing it. I know there's like a couple different things. Obviously, the one thing I miss is how fucking big the little active reload was. You know? Oh, this one seems well. I almost I want to say it's better and worse because, like in the other ones, if you, it, it was a pretty big gap that you could hit it, and as you successively hit it over and over it would get smaller or change whereas in this one it's just smaller in general but never changes which I almost feel is better because it's something you can get used to and you can hit it over and over where as with the old ones you would get used to something and it would change on you and you'd fuck it up for that reason which would piss a lot of people off I think I'm just salty because I can I can lay like, things like one at a. You're just every... salty because you keep fucking it up. Yeah, like one. Well, because in, in Gears Three, you know, I could I can do that shit like hands down. I anticipate it. I got that countdown real fast. This one, I'm just kind of like yeah, up in the air. It's like nine out of ten times, I probably won't get it right. Well, and it's you know I almost guarantee once we, once we get into the campaign, we start playing it on insane or whatever, you'll get the hang of it. What if anything? What bothers me most is that. Graphically, it's the same. However, when everybody talked about Gears, they said what made it so successful, what made it look good, no matter how long it stood the test of time, was that the amount of bloom they used, the bloom effects, which is true and it's it's not because it it does have a certain artistic value where it does look somewhat realistic, but it also has a very unique feel to it, and that's generally you know it's like 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 with a call of duty game you'll never see that because it's it's meant purely to look as real as possible and that'll only last as long as you know that generation (laughs) exists yeah whereas the gears franchise it you know the characters are generally bigger on you know unrealistically proportioned larger almost kind of a bodybuilder bro stereotype which is what they're associated with a lot yeah and like i want to say with this new art they seem kind of smaller and i don't know if that's just me though they they are slightly, they they are slightly more realistic. It's not as exaggerated, almost like in an anime sense, but it still it still fits. It still looks legitimate. Because originally, like if you look at Gears One, even compared to Gears Three, they had fingers the size of fucking sausages. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> like you could gag somebody to death with a fucking pinky. Whereas um, now they've 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 cleaned it up a bit, they've trimmed it, they've made it a little brighter, which somewhat pulls away from it. Because Gears wasn't originally they in, they intended the Gears series, much like the Bioshock series, to be a horror franchise, and it just really? ended up turning out to be yeah, it ended up turning out to be more of a suspense action thriller, and they're trying to go back to that roots with with the new one, making it you know it seems like it's a new planet. From what it sounds like, it's very much they tried to colonize it, and then shit hit the fan, and now things are coming out of the woodwork. 
w which sounds great. It sounds fantastic, and it's, it's going back to the roots that they, they missed originally, but somehow made a big success out of it anyway, much like the Bioshock series. The first one, it very much was supposed to be like a horror, but just because of the way it looked and felt, so scary. it was... It, it, it was in some parts, but it was like it wasn't scary enough to qualify as a horror game. There was only a few jump scares, and as you got farther into it, it got easier and, and less as much of a horror game. I don't know if it was because it was easier or how it was lit, but it's... Horror games are very much atmospheric, and if you don't nail that atmosphere, it doesn't... It just doesn't work. You can't pull it off. That's why things like... Um, like Dead Space, they work so well, but all I mean, all you have to do is like turn off the sound, basically, and that almost destroys the experience. It's not really scary anymore. Speak for yourself. As, I, I pissed myself. <laughs> not even joking. <laughs> but it's at the same time, it's it, it's it's a really hard mark to hit when you can fight back because a lot of the things in, in horror is that you can't oh yeah you're you, can, you know you can't fight back you have to run your defenseless so it's it's really hard to make not even a, a first person shooter even a third person shooter like gears as traditionally is to make something scary when you have the chance and the ability you know to fight back and potentially win and then I, but I, th I think they may actually hit that mark though and you know it, if they do and if it's received well it's it's definitely going to make some history because if you think about it, what other games are like this that have ever hit that mark? Lego, Batman. <laughs> Lego Batman. <laughs> That's pretty traumatizing. <laughs> for I didn't know Batman gonna live or die. Fuck, I'm dead. I'm so dead. That's cool. Dead. I, I I think honestly, I feel like you should be like a spokesperson because I like you make me want to play Gears. That's the way you speak. <laughs> hashtag Gears. Hashtag Epic. Hashtag <laughs> Coalition. Gears of Four. <laughs> wolf Man. Gears of Wolf. Gears of Wolf. I'd play that game. Yeah, it's all wolves. <laughs> but I'm telling you, if I, if I ever become my own big animal. developer and I get to make my own games, you're gonna see a flourish of werewolf-based games. I swear to God. Yeah. Because it's, I mean, I if you think about it, game. other than, like, Van Helsing, how many times have you seen werewolves in a game? Other than, like, Skyrim, where it's, like, it's a perk, it's a feature, it's not the main focus. It's something that, like, there is definitely a fan base for, but just nobody wants to do it because they're too fucking scared. Because everybody has their own opinion of werewolves, but it always ends up being this nasty fucking pygmy-looking oh, thing. Right, and it, or but, it looks like a spooky puppy from Twilight. Yeah. But when you when you look at something like say like the Twilight Princess with Zelda, they made Link a full on wolf. Nobody argued that for a second. It was so well received. <laughs> it's so not considered a world game, but right, it's like such know, a sound nobody logic, argues that shit. Right? And it's just you just got to go for the traditional traits, not this movie half man shit. Like Van Helsing did it amazing. It's still considered, even though it's not a werewolf movie, it's still considered to have the best werewolves. To be one of the best werewolf movies, hands down. We got really off topic there for a second. I like werewolves, and I like Van Helsing. I I condone this. You condone this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, an, I took it on my own tangent and pulled it away from Gears. All right, I'm not gonna lie though, but fucking that mean tangent rides with Lambit, and those fuckers scare me. The Lambit, yeah, they've. I wonder, you know, now that you mentioned, it, I didn't even think about that because that was that, that, that was a see, big a turning point in the Gears the series, and me, they've dude. kind of been hush hush about that in the four. At the same time, though, it seems like Gears four is where is Gears one through three was people live on this planet. They've colonized it. All of a sudden, there's these humanoid like creatures that live underground. Gears four is like it's the same sort of universe, however. Instead of grubs as a people, it's more like the the animals. If there was a, a planet that was solely grubs, these would be the animals that are on it, and you throw humans into the mix. Is what Gears Four sounds like, because it's not. They're not organized. They're not people. They're very much, from what I've seen in the trailers and just the character designs, they're very much animalistic, and they have animal-like traits. And there's one in particular. I can't remember what it's called or what I saw. Uh, um, uh, fucking. God damn it! Matthew showed me the other night. It looks, it it has like the tail of a squid and like Ew. the body of a lion. It's it's 
kind of scary looking. But I mean, they're, they're very much trying to make it almost like Jesus Christ, fucking Torque Bow. Almost like a Cabela's hunt where <laughs> you are more the animal than the animals are. And I, if if they do it right, I think it'll work really well. It'll be very much a sort of her, horror, if not horror, survival suspense, which, if they don't hit the horror mark, that will work just as well. I hope they do. I mean, just as a Gears fan as myself, as long as they had horde mode, I don't care how bad it is, I'll probably play the fuck out of it. <laughs> but, like, honestly, for me, it was Advanced Warfare. I'm like, okay, they had this stupid double jump shit I don't like. Cool, I'm not going to play it. And then it's like, oh, classic mode. And I'm like, I guess I'll play the hell out of that. Like you gotta adhere to what people like. At least you know, don't don't sit there and like leave everything. You know what I mean? It's like at least get somebody that classic God, kill or something. Yeah. Well, I mean, and that's I mean that's it's Epic Games is one of those. They're they're like the Apple. They are the Apple of the gaming world because they've their engines are their game engines are used for so many different titles. Their work is so polished. Their games. Unreal? Have never failed. Yeah, that's, I love that's Unreal, all epic. Dude. Unreal Tournament, the Unreal Engine. I think they're on what Unreal Engine three, and people indie AAA titles are using that all around. I think wasn't it? Uh, I don't know. Crisis was using the Cry Engine. That was different. Yeah, that's but true. It's I love Time they, Crisis. Epic could probably almost get away with not releasing games and just making engines and things like that, and they would be just fine. Because it seems like everything they do is a massive success. Even with their their game that has pretty much fallen off the map, I can't remember what it was called. Time it was splitters. like it was basically no, no, not time splitters. Oh, um, time splitters. I'm just saying. Go on, it was so up. long ago. Was that one of their games? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check. <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was so long ago. God, I gotta see if I can look it up. Now I gotta see. I'm gonna look it up here. Hold on. I know. <laughs> ah, hold on. I gotta be a nerd. Um, fuck, I don't even know what. Epic Games catalog. It was like Unreal oh, Champion, it it's right Unreal on the tip of my tongue. Shadow Complex, it was, it was, Infinity Blade. No, it was it was a zombie one. style game. Infinity Blade is mobile. It was a zombie style game where basically you you you. It was almost like a tower defense, but it was like Gears. It was Gears if it was a tower defense. Um. And they never released it, and they announced it a while ago. They updated it, and it just it just keeps falling off the map. Um, wow, there's that wine game I want to play. I don't know what it's called, though. I'm probably going to die because I'm just looking now. Let's see. Did he just see? stay here, spawn. Like, no one's going to kill you if you're in spawn. It's not. I know it's not until dawn. What the fuck was it? Ready to play two. Epic Citadel. <laughs> Epic Mickey. Oh, oh Jesus! No. <laughs> I like Epic. Phoenix Mickey. Rising. Oh, they made Phoenix Rising. Oh, that's not the attorney guy, is it? What? The Phoenix Attorney of Power something. No, Phoenix Rising Map Pack for Gears of War 3. Oh. I'm, I'm going to clear back to 2011 already. I think I missed it. Let's see. Real Development Kit. Real Engine 3, Davids on Windows 8. Oh, shit. They're going to make an Unreal Tournament game? Yeah, they've been working on a new one. Oh. As part of, I think that's what they're using. That's their flagship for their new Unreal Engine is the new Unreal Tournament. Unreal, Castle of the Winds. Oh, let's see. Oh, I'm reaching now. Let's see. Kylo Blaster. Overkill. GG Top. The fuck? Where are my point and click adventures, okay. you motherfucker? All of a sudden, I just got removed from the lobby, I guess. Apparently, I was in cover too long. Are you AFK? Bro, I took a nap and that totally fucked me up. I'm running on like six hours of sleep for the last 48 hours. 
I'm I'm thing. seeing shit like I'm seeing like watermelons rolling across the street and stuff. It's crazy. Um, that's not nice. Fuck. Well, you you a watermelon? I want to be a watermelon. I want to be human. <laughs> want to be a real boy? <laughs> Fortnite. That's what it was. Fortnite. And they've got it on their page here. Let me see if there's any info about it. Oh shit! There's an alpha. Join the alpha. But this game, they've been. They've announced this, what, two, three years ago, and there was nothing about it. They announced it again, and there was nothing about it. This was supposed to be, like, their new, big, you know, can't believe it's not butter, crazy game-changing. And now that I'm looking at the trailer for it, it actually looks kind of dated. It's very, very cartoony looking. Actually, it looks like, it almost looks like Epic's version of Team Fortress True. That's what it looks like. I'm watching this trailer. This game is the best. It's like... Oh my god, I missed that. What? A fucking torque bow. Oh yeah, you're still in the game, huh? Yep. But like, a Paragon, I actually just got a code for a free weekend and totally ignored it. But like, that's their it's that's their on. new version of a Dota, MMO, whatever. And it's... You know, going back to what I was saying, it's just no, matter, no matter what they do, everything comes out just looking so polished they don't do anything half-assed and they're one of the few companies anymore that do anything like that you see you know companies like EA they were the first to fall EA Bro, and Microsoft they suck dick EA has always been kind of a pain in everyone's ass but now their quality across the board is starting to drop who the hell tagging me you and your goddamn what is this what did I tag you in bitch Oh, that's the goddamn people, deep quotes, fucking Jar Jar Binks bullshit. Bro, this, this is all about bringing the rise in Jar Jars. <laughs> Motherfucker acting like I don't know song lyrics. Might as well put ass, ass, ass and say it's written by fucking Chris Rock. But like, I mean, even looking back, this is a game I never played, just looking at the website now. They, they've made Shadow Complex. I have heard people from like Rooster Teeth, you know, Gus, talk about this game that's probably... It is old, old. I think they're just now remaking it, remastering it, or whatever. But it is super old, and people still play it like it just came out. It's... And what is Spy Jinx? I've not even heard of this. Chair and Bad Robot. I'm familiar with Bad Robot, but I'm not familiar with Chair. This is something I've never even seen. I'm looking at something I'm seeing new right now. Have you, have you heard of Spy Jinx? Nope. I, 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 I would love to go to an E3 and just look at all the games. Not even have a life. Shit, I'm gonna have to watch that later. I think I think Epic might just be publishing in this. It looks like a bad robot project. Anyway, um, so Epic's badass and the engine's badass. Pretty pretty much, Epic is they're they're a powerhouse <laughs> in the day and age of people who release games that are unfinished, DLC bullshit, pay for play, <laughs> Destiny. Um, you have a cough there, bro. You want some water? You know. It's it's they are they are a shining star among a field of turds. What was what it looks like nowadays? I'm not gonna lie, bro. Talk shit, bro. Real talk. <laughs> are you still in the game? No, nah, I'm leaving it because I wanted this. Oh, you so. left. Shadow complex. Looks Shadow pretty cool. Shadow complex. It. I think it's. I think it's like um. Movie what is games. that game called? The the alien game that everybody's playing. That's turn based. What is it called? No that game? Now, now I've got to find that because that's going to bug me. Alien game. This is probably going to be horrible. <laughs> oh my god. A whole lot of AVP. That's not what I want. You that sure? reminds me, I still haven't downloaded Steam on here. Fuck. Alright, bitch, come on. Oh shit, as a side note, have you. Depth is now six bucks. It's on sale, 75% off. What's the depth? Hit that up. That's the game where you play as the uh, either the divers or the sharks, and you're trying to get treasure, Ooh, and the sharks are just trying Steam? to rip people apart. Yeah, it's on sale. You Six twenty four. I wanted to buy fucking that one game. I'm um, hatred casino. Hatred. You would. <laughs> it sounds what? like everybody everybody kicked and screamed to make this game be heard and allowed to be you know a creative piece, and it came out. And it sounds like it's just garbage. Nobody wants to even fucking play it. I want to play it. <laughs> I gotta be a dick. <laughs> go buy a four pack, bro. I I I ought to go buy a four pack. A four pack, Jesus Christ. Well, wouldn't you uh, want to play this oh, game, bitch? Uh, 
I mean, I might just to see, you know, if I can validate what everybody else has been talking about. But I've kind of had the feeling from the beginning, you know, that it wasn't going to be that great. It was just one of those controversial things, and they just rode the wave of it just for the publicity. For depth or just hatred? Hatred. Depth. Oh. Depth sounds amazing. I play. Yeah, I'm talking about. D- d- fuck. Why would I buy oh, I a four pack hatred. hatred? You fucker. You're the. You're the one who brought up hatred. I was even talking about that. Because I wanted to play it for like a moment. <laughs> I'm gonna get me a job at Epic Games. Like, what you do? I play games. What you watch? Rick and Morty. What else do you do? Eat. Get him a job. Good job. <laughs> Alright, come on. Punk ass. Um, I need you to load up again. I was gonna say, I don't know. It's like, I've got my gear fix. As much as I need to hit 20 before the, uh, you know, the first. Gotcha. All right. So, how do you want to end this? Um, I don't know. Are we gonna end it, or you want to continue on? I'll keep else? talking, bro. Let's go. Let's, what do we? Keep, what else do we play? Um, I'm gonna move over to Minecraft or something. Yeah, we're in. It. All right. Well, let me holla back now. Oh shit! I gotta switch Skype though, so we are gonna have to end it at least temporarily. All right then. So that's part one. All part right. one. Shut up! So you can't even on count. A different game. <laughs> Hey, I can count more than you can. Another right. fucking two-folded taco. That's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Damn. So you get beer like a man, slam shit around. You hear me smashing shit in my fridge? <laughs> Asian women are not sexual objects. I beg to differ. Shit. Whoa. What I wanted to say, though, after watching the um, the trailer for the depth, is what's funny is that the depth is the is is an indie game. But it's, it's so good. It is, and and the funny thing is that you play basically when you when you look at it objectively, you play as a monster versus humans, who are you know, Game. ultimately less than you are. It's it's basically evolved without the big third money you know third party money behind it, except for it was done right. It, Evolve did everything wrong that it possibly could have. That game could have been amazing. They hyped, the way they hyped it up, the way they they presented it. It could have been amazing. Oh yeah, dude. Like honestly, that and that's what I expected, which kind of sucks. It's the fact that I was expecting to be this badass game, like cool. And then like, I'm seeing the monster get killed in like the first two rounds. I'm seeing all kinds of fucked up things. And then like, it's like I think, like, four out of every five video, the monster got fucked up. One video I'd see where the monster won, but that's about it. Well, and not even that. It's just they said, here's a very stripped down base version of the game. Here's two maps. Here's a monster. Here's a crew. You know, find the replayability. In it. And, and, and the problem was is that, like, me personally, I was in the beta. Everything that, that game had to offer, I got out of the beta. I was done after that. I didn't need to know what the full game was because that pretty much was the full game. Right. You the rest of it was game. just... The rest was just DLC characters. There was really no new content whatsoever. Couldn't be more true. I mean, even even now, after getting it free from a friend, we played it maybe twice, and I was fine. And that, that's with all the extra characters. Are you loading up the world, or...? Um... Are you... You're not a part of the modded server yet, are you? Are you doing Minecraft on the fucking... Uh... Are, you, are you on Xbox? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You're, You're so dumb. Well, I'm not dumb, I just don't know things. <laughs> I'm not dumb, I just don't know things. <laughs> Summary 2016. Really? That, that's a monumental moment right there, bro. <laughs> to get you an Abraham Lincoln statue, you sitting in a computer chair. 
your hands up. I don't know things. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh, damn, I don't know my password. I feel like you. Oh, what you call me? Pocket Sand. One, that's my password for Microsoft. Or Minecraft. Get into it. How dare you. See how long it lasts. Pocket Sand? Maybe I lied. I don't know what it is. I can't figure it out.